sometimes you can't describe things sometimes. Yeah. You don't find in the world lots of this anymore. It's untouched. We need to use this to show people. The moment they arrive to this place, they will feel it the same as we do. Ponte do Ouro Cozibay is the first marine transfrontier conservation area in Africa. The transfrontier marine park is a very exciting concept. Um, all your populations of animals and fish, birds, reptiles are transfrontier. And now we've got a chance to actually protect them on both sides of the border. Pontador Partial Marine Reserve is very important for turtles, mainly for two species that are nasty, uh, loggerheads and leatherbacks. The loggerhead is endangered. At the moment, the leatherback is critically endangered. We found that uh, this is the only place where especially the leatherbacks lay the eggs. You go onto the beach, generally it's a calmish evening, the moon's maybe rising. You're sitting there, all is quiet. Then this shadow comes out of the water, slowly. And it just, it walks up the beach, plodding. And you just sit back and you're absolutely awestruck. Maybe they've been doing it for 60 million years, unchanged. See a turtle, turtle coming out, you can't explain. It's something that you don't forget ever, you have to experience it. You see a ladder back, then everything changes. It, it comes up, it knows exactly what it's going to do, but maybe it hasn't been here for 30 years, it's never done this before. It comes up, it decides where it's going to build its nest, carefully crafts a hole and then has a rest. The moment she starts laying the, the eggs, the turtles go in trance. On a monitoring program, is the, for us, is the best time to, to do everything. Measure, tag if it's not tagged, check the tag if it's checked, and collect the genetic sample beyond comprehension how this can actually happen. And to actually see this happening in the wild, naturally, is an amazing experience. Ecotourism can play a very important role in this area. We should promote turtle guides, walks. Not only for, to get uh, the funds to keep the monitoring program alive, but actually to share with, uh, with people. I have yet to see a tourist who's been in a turtle tour successfully who's not been totally awestruck by the experience. You can't do conservation if the local community is not part of it. The Transfrontier Conservation Area includes the people in it. The ownership of this project has to be the communities. It's absolutely critical that you get the communities on your side. At the moment we've got 63 local monitors covering the entire coast. Turtles are bringing in much more benefit and revenue to the communities here than they could ever possibly get by killing the turtles and eating the meat. This empowerment of communities in a project like that, that actually is the vision of Peace Parks. To use conservation as a change agent. We have an outpost at Mili Bangalala, and uh, the local community there doesn't have access to official schools or clinics. We, the Marine Guards, are teaching at this stage 15 child to read and write in Portuguese and they're learning also mathematics. And we add to that environmental education. If there's no education behind, you can't do conservation. 
these resources here belong to the world. Isimangaliso is a World Heritage Site and we're also assisting people in southern Mozambique to try and get the same status for the land there. That main focus at the moment to proclaim this area as a World Heritage Site. Southern Mozambique becoming a World Heritage Site will really be good in that it'll bring in mechanisms which will ensure that when development goes ahead, it can go ahead in an eco-friendly way. thousands of hatchlings each year uh, successfully entering the water. But then as they enter the water it's crystal clear, there's very little cover. There's predators, there's kingfishes, there's sharks, there's all sorts of things, there's birds, there's crabs. Most of them will be killed, uh, but some do survive. And the good news is that in South Africa and southern Mozambique at the moment, we're actually making good progress towards protecting these animals. Numbers are increasing. This Transfrontier initiative gives us the opportunity to have an example now in Africa where two countries are cooperating together to mutually improve the, the, the management of fish resources is fantastic. It's a huge responsibility we've got to ensure that our children and our children's children can see this happening. I hope in the future that we can say that uh, we made a difference.